This video is going to be about the Edifier S50DB and this is uh, 88 watts of RMS power. Uh, so we have got grills that come off and we also can put a subwoofer in via 3.5mm jack and it has a lot of uh, accessible uh, space so you can add more things on like Blu-ray uh, DVD players um, t will connect it up to your TV via RS RCA or Phonos um, or 3.5mm jack by auxiliary and what else we got in the back? Coaxial, optical out, yeah auxiliary in and obviously sub out yeah, that's pretty cool. So they include the cable as well. So you've got an RCA or Phono cable, red and white. And then we've got 3.5 mil jack cable. Um, and then we get all the stuff that you obviously you wanna put it onto the wall. So you get this bracket as well, very minimalized design. A um, few holes and it's kind of on there already. Well, actually it's actually four holes and it's on there. But included is four wall plugs and uh, they're yellow. Um, and four normal tapping screws. Then we've got a 3.5 mil to RCA uh, a converter, so you can connect to the RCAs in the back, then plug in via phone or laptop or anything that's got 3.5 mil jack that you need to use from one end to the other, into this and then into that, no problem. And then you've got this lovely remote control. It looks like a puck and um, you can take the back off like you normally would. Uh, I haven't got nothing to take the back off to see what battery is, but we'll obviously find that out. But I guess it'll probably be a CR2032 or something like that. But have a look. But anyway, I think this is really quite a nice looking like remote control. So I'm guessing, well, there we go. So when you press this, it's obviously infrared, but you've got an um, LED light that lights up so you can see when you're turning in um, sound bar on and off. Um, increments of plus and minus uh, volume rocker, then uh, skip and skip forward and play and pause, optical out for uh, changing the course of um, your music and stuff like that. Then obviously a Bluetooth button to change the Bluetooth, auxiliary, the line in and effects. So you've got three different effect modes, uh, which we're gonna go through all of that and play it. But this is uh, made for high definition, real, like real sound when you're actually, it's meant to mimic the cinema sound and that's what we're gonna test with it. But also it mimics the sound for, um, uh, for was it music as well? So it says that it's for news, for movies, and uh, I can't remember what the other thing was, but yeah, we'll get into that afterwards. But yeah, you get all the stuff that you need to get on with it straight away. On the back, you've got two brackets um, via auxiliary, not auxiliary, Allen key, I should say. Ooh, I nearly broke the speaker. It's got this lovely little finish though. It's not like a real finish, but. It's got a nice little finish of uh, wood, the old school wood from the 80s that it looks like, uh, just to give it that nice little tidy look or a bit of fashion look to it. So these are the brackets that hang on to the back of the wall, so it's pretty minimalized design. Those are the, um, the, the ports that you plug into, so optical out, coaxial, uh, RCL phono, and then auxiliary 3.5 mil, and then sub out, then obviously your, your mains power, and then these are obviously connected and screwed down via Allen key. It looks like most of them all Allen key as well. Uh, so I'm going to spin it around. And then come around to the front. So on the front here, you've got your volume rocker, which is very nice increments of it. It goes up to a maximum volume of 50, and then a minimum volume of 0, 0, 0, which means that you've got no volume at all. But you're also going to uh, check hiss as well. By pressing the button, gives you coaxial, it gives you auxiliary, gives you line in, gives you Bluetooth, gives you optical, gives you coaxial, gives you auxiliary, gives you auxiliary, gives you line in, gives you Bluetooth, you get what I'm saying, it just cycles right around. But with um, the added features, use the remote control, but before we go to the remote control, we're gonna take these um, covers off. And as you can see, it reveals these real like bulletproof Bulletproof? Bullet uh, speakers. They feel like aluminium to be honest if you are. Then it's got a nice solid grill on the front there. And then uh, bass reflex as well. So you can obviously let the bass come out towards your face. Um, even though this looks like it's at an angle, when it's on the wall, it will be kind of uh, flat down with rays, probably about five degrees. So the sound hits you from wherever you put it on the wall. So just bear in mind, you want it to make sure it hits you in the face. So that's what it's about. But so we've got four speakers, two bass reflex and two tweeters on the side. 
and as I said it's 88 uh, watts RMS um, got some nice little grills here as well but anyway what we're gonna do I just this feels really nice and weighty it feels nice in the hand as well I like that we're gonna just do some tests on that I'm gonna plug this in via Bluetooth and watch some YouTube videos and then obviously listening to it you'll notice that um, through where I'm listening on Bluetooth and you're going to be listening on Blu-ray or you're going to be listening on high quality sound or uncompressed sound compared to whoever you are it means that um, you're going to get better sound than what you're going to be listening to now so um, let me find a YouTube video and play it and then let's see what we get with it right so what I'm going to do first off is connect it via Bluetooth so I'm just going to go to my settings obviously I've indicated I've got Bluetooth on so I'm going to just go straight to my phone and I'm going to find where it is, and there it is, Edifier S50 dB. So I didn't even connect to it. There we go, and it should come up here. There we go, pairing, and here we go. We've got pairing. Now you've got a graphic equalizer going up and down. That's a great bit of animation. I like that. That's awesome. Right, we're connected and we're ready to play my video so let's go so we've got it this far back but obviously this will be on the wall so it will sound slightly different just so you know but let's turn it up see what we've got So that is movie mode that we got on now. That is now the news, um, which is a function that they've put on there. So it's all for clarity of sound and stuff. Now this is for music only. Right, so that was me flicking through news, um, the news, music, and movie, and uh, it still sounds awesome on all of them. So now we want to, what else we want to do? Let's see if we can put the bass up on here and stuff. I'm not too sure if you can or not, but it would be nice if you can uh, muck about with stuff like that. Right, so I have just checked. You can't have any functions of moving the bass up or the treble. It's just got those three. Um, program buttons or effects that are in there which is news music and movie but I could under to be honest I would like a little bit more functionality with it obviously this remote control is really nice and stuff but it could do a little bit more um, the speakers they sound pretty good they do fill a room um, and this is just on the side so this is made to go on the walls so it's gonna sound probably more 
powerful coming from the wall and draw more base and stuff especially if you get it onto more of a hollow wall or hollow background so say that you've got like um, the background is all solid but you cut out a bit that's hollow and then you hide all your cables in the wall and stuff this will produce more base going that way but there's loads of different ways of doing it but I can honestly say that this sounds really clean, really clear, and I'm quite impressed with it. I would recommend this to anyone who's looking for a soundbar, no problems whatsoever. Because um, it, looks, it looks pretty nice. The speakers, 88 watts RMS is true R RMS like sound. The sound quality sounds really nice. Plus it's um, not too heavy, and it's got decent functionality where people just want it easy. And the whole point of having a soundbar to so make it easy without having the bass in treble and all that sort of stuff but it would be nice to see it on there in my eyes but people that want true um speaker cinema sound would have opted for separate speakers or separates um and separate um amps and things like that to connect all their uh, tv up to it and have it on stands this is just an option that you can just stick on the wall and it does it all for you if you want music you can play music to switch to it if you want movies this is what it's for because it's a soundbar and if you want it for um if you want it for the news so you can hear more clarity or i don't know more clarity of whatever you're listening to you can do but it's truly stylish and it's truly easy and that's the whole point about soundbars so i highly recommend this i'll give this an eight and a half out of ten and i'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go and purchase this but yeah this is a nice speaker definitely worth it Right, let's get the specifications out of the way. Uh, the power output, left and right treble is 12 watts by 12 watts RMS. Left and right mid-range bass is 32 watts RMS by 32 watts RMS. Signal to noise ratio is 85 decibels. Noise level is 25 decibels. Input sensitivity line in one. Uh, right and left over 450 over 50 MV line in two. RL 550 over 50 MOV. Opti call and coaxial are an L500 over 50M over FFS. Bluetooth are an L700 over 50M FFS. Frequency response is 55 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Space unit is four inches, which is 160 mil, 116 millimeters actually. Tweeter unit is 13 millimeters and it's got a silk dome tweeter. Now it does equate to 88 RMS in power, plus the remote control takes a battery, which the battery is a CR2025 lithium cell battery, and it should last you up to two years. So who is this speaker or soundbar for? Well, if you're into the news, obviously it's got the clearest vocals that you can hear. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't really hear much distortion at all at the maximum volume of 50. What, um, 50. Um, I didn't hear any hissing as well when I had turned it down. Um, I like the fact that it's got loads of like different chips for the DAC that's built into here. They've really compressed something that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye and very simple and easy to use. If you're into music and you just want to just connect it up and have like your big like TV with music videos going on, it's going to be good for that. And if you want to have movies, it's going to be good for that. But what's even more better? or much better, is the fact that you've got a sub out for a 3.5mm jack. So yes, you can put a subwoofer on the back of this and it's going to produce even more clarity of sound. But the fact is that you don't really need a subwoofer with it unless you really want that heavy sort of like, a, I don't know if you're watching disaster films or anything with guns or whatever, you want to hear that sound like it's actually in the room and it's filling it, definitely opt for a subwoofer. But this will do without a subwoofer as well, which is quite clean and quite good because I never explained, I never would have thought that but also this price is going to be at around 230 to 250 i'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you can buy this like this video if you liked it subscribe share and all of that sort of stuff follow me on all social media platforms and i'll see you in the next one for well actually comment down below as well in case you want to ask any questions and i'll see you next time thanks for watching